is WRAL News, your number one source for local news. A crash in Harney County took the life of a 10-year-old girl. The man accused right now. Yeah, they need it. Gilbert Bays reporting live in Harney County. Thank you. State lawmakers plan to take a closer look at the role and authority of the North Carolina High School Athletic Association. WRL's high school OT first told you about this. Or the Pfizer vaccine. On your screen right here, Be Well Pharmacy is offering walk-in available Moderna shots. Our severe threat has come to an end. It has pushed to the east, but we still have rain falling across the area. Maybe even a thunderstorm. We'll show you where it is falling and how long it will last coming up. Many people stuck in the hailstorm that moved through to our north. We'll talk with some of those who were inside and recorded the video straight ahead in the live center. Once again, we lead our newscast with weather. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Lena Talet. Tonight, our team of meteorologists. Get those sweaters ready. It's coming up. <laughs> you have a lot going on. Mike, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRL Live Center. This video is brand new into the WRL newsroom this evening in Halifax County. The driver pulled over here. I spoke with him on the phone tonight. He says the hail came. Joins us live outside the SBI offices in Raleigh. Both the SBI and DEA are now assisting in this case. Kirsten, the information coming from the Alamance County Sheriff's Office suggests this coach, Coach Harris, was living a double life. Lena, that's correct, and like you just mentioned, the SBI is assisting in this investigation. Now, from our affiliates in Charlotte, WSOC and WNCN, they tell us that Harris and his brother-in-law tried to steal money. Harris was killed. We're told he was found inside the home, wearing a mask, gloves, and a bulletproof vest. I know the cartel. Uh, you know, they have the reputation. They don't lose. They're going to pay somebody back. That's what worries me right now. Coronavirus cases continues to climb. This is today's curve, the average daily number, just under 2,000 now. And notice at the end, it is trending upward a bit. As for the average number of daily deaths, that is down one from yesterday at 16, although the number... Lawyers for former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin called a medical expert to the stand today to offer another cause for the death of George Floyd. Mr. Floyd died of a cardiac arrhythmia. What he says contributed to George Floyd's heart problems and ultimately his death when we come back. And the countdown is on how things stand for the action is still unfolding at this hour. We expect to hear from President Biden and if that happens, we will take you there. We have team coverage tonight with the reporters bringing you a closer look at the importance of this verdict in Raleigh, Fuquay Barina, Fayetteville and Durham.